students a very good morning to one and all welcome to the next lecture of online theory class series of subject novel drug delivery system i am mrs arti majumdar associate professor from the department of pharmaceutics smriti college of pharmaceutical education in lahore dear students in continuation of our discussion over various micro encapsulation methods today i we are going to discuss uh, another method of micro encapsulation that is pan coating method so far we have discussed about air suspension method phase separation coagulation method solvent evaporation method spray drying and spray congealing methods now uh this pan coating method this pan coating method is the only method used for the formulation of micro uh, capsules or for coating of solid particles uh which which are in the range of they should be greater than 600 micron for micro encapsulation purpose i have already explained you that the core particle uh, are in range of it is started from the several tenth of micron to as more as 500 micron so in pan coating method the minimum particle size required is it should be more than 600 microns Partic solid particle only solid particles can be micro encapsulated using pan coating methods by this methods liquid we are not able to encapsulate liquid uh, droplets or liquids liquid core materials now uh, particles solid particles or particles solid core particles having particle size greater than 600 microns they are coated with the help of uh, coating pans this is a diagram of a conventional coating pan in this method medical wings are usually coated over inert spherical substrates uniform size inert spherical substrates which can be such as non parent sugar sugar seeds or starch spherical starch particles starch substrate or lactose these are all inert materials which are uh, used as substrate spherical substrates over which medicaments are first coated and then the protein there and then uh, the next coating of over this medicament layer a protective coating is done with the help of various polymers which we have studied in our previous classes uh, what are the various types of coating material what are how they are classified some may be water and solid soluble polymers water and soluble polymers then waxes and lipids okay then entry coating polymers shall i can see so these all we have studied in our previous classes now uh, this conventional coating pan this is mounted on a stand at a certain angle and it is rotating while coating procedure is carried out here core particles are kept in this coating <coughs> sorry in this coating pan uh, and sorry in this coating pan and the coating polymer solution coating uh, for material should be in solution form coating polymer solution is being sprayed over this core particle bag continuously while uh, during this coating process these core particles they are in the tumbling condition because of the rotation of this coating pan and during uh, the spraying while spraying the coating material a warm air or heated air is continuously supplied it is continuous continuously air heated air is continuously directed into the pan over this core particle bag so that it result in the evaporation of 
solvent which is used for dissolving coating polymer now with the uh, solvent evaporation this the coating material they get deposited over the core particle here in this coating pan this exhaust duct the this uh, air it is exhausted with the help of an exhaust duct which is present in front of this coating pan this coating pan is covered it is it has it is covered while performing the procedure so this is the pan coating method in which solid coat particles they are coated with the help of coating material solution which is being continuously sprayed with the help of an automized nozzle and uh, in, in between in this process inlet air heated air heated or warm air uh, serves the medium to uh, medium of drying the coating and for solvent evaporation solvent evaporated and the cold air it is exhausted through the exhaust drum and further it is uh, it can be collected for recycling of the solvent now main application of this pan coating method is the formulation of sustained release pellets for example dextroamphetamine sulfate and calcium dihydrate these uh, sustained release pellets of these two drugs they are prepared with the help of coating polymer uh, using waxy coating polymer waxes and fatty acid such as glycerol monosterate and beeswax so how these sustained release pellets are formulated now uh, for the formulation of sustained release pellets of drug dextroamphetamine sulfate and calcium dihydrate what is to be done initially inert substrate inert substrates such as non parent sugar seeds are taken in the coating pan and they are first coated with the drugs with the combination of these drug in required amount with the help of usp simple syrup usp and uh, here, after proper time proper mixing tank is spread sprinkle over these core materials which are inert non parent sugar seeds so on these when the drug is properly coated and tank is sprinkled for the smoothing of the surfaces no proper smooth spherical drug pellets are formed which has drug coating on them now out of these drugs say we are initially if we are taking 100 grams of pack in a in a material in a substrate so 100 grams of pellets are formed okay now what happen from these 100 gram one fourth part of these pellets are taken out which formulate which uh, for, which constitute a group 1 group 1 is actually uncoated drug pellets it is only the non sugar non parent sugar seeds having coating of drug over it and now what happen remaining three fourth part of the pellets which are inside this coating pan they are again coated with the help of coating material which is glycerol monosterate and these wax it is dissolved in these two materials are dissolved in carbon tetrachloride carbon tetrachloride is used as solvent for the dissolution of coating material now the coating solution is being sprayed over these core materials which are drug coated pellets continuously with the help of certain optimized spray nozzles then uh, because during this process warm air or heated air is continuously directed into the pan over this uh, the over the bed of this drug containing pellets and these pellets are in uh, are continuously tumbling in this rotating coating pan and uh, after certain time after some time when solvent is evaporated with the help of this warm air and these when these pellets are dry uh, they this coating procedure is continued until 10% of coating uh, 10% increase in the weight is obtained that is coating is done up to 10% increase in weight is obtained so at this point when all these three fourth part of the pellet that is 
combination of these facts and crystal monosterate layer again one third part of palettes coated palettes having the layer of coating material that is these facts and crystal monosterate one third part that is 25 gram is taken out which constitute group 2 this is group 2 so group 2 is having group 1 is having drop drop containing palettes they are uncoated with the coating material no polymer is coated over this palette group 2 has polymers having single layer of the polymer material over it and then the process continues with the help of this coating material up to the uh, weight which is further increased by 10% now 10% weight is uh, of coating is again uh, increased so, so after this after drying of this palette one uh, sorry half of this palette that is again 25 gram of the palette are taken out and it constitute group 3 group 3 is having group 1 is having uh, coating up to 10% of weight then again further 10% weight is increased uh, of the coating in terms of coating again 10% weight is increased so these are having little more coating as compared to the group 1 and the remaining 25 gram of the palette in the coating pan they are again uh, coated in the similar way up to the 10 per until the 10 percent increase in the weight is obtained now these 25 last 25 gram palettes they constitute group 4 now we are having four groups of palettes first it is palettes in which no polymer coating is done only drug is there over the inner substrate and second coating is done up to 10% of the weight and again third over this coating for the 10% increase in weight is there weight is done coating up to the 10% uh, weight by weight coating is done and again in the group 4 this coating material is in as in uh, coating material is added on to the core material up to the 10% increase in weight so the thickness of the coating is uh, increasing gradually from group 1 group 2 to group 4 now what happened in sustained release palettes these four groups they are uniformly mixed and they can be filled in hard gelatin capsule so when these type of Uh, when a uh, hard gelatin capsule containing these type of palette it is administered so there are certain palettes which are from group 1 which are readily available to release drug so they will immediately release the drug and after some time group 1 palettes from the group 1 they will release drug and then group 2 and lastly Group four palettes will release drug. So in this way, the drug is released in a sustained manner. So this is the main application of pan coating method, that is to formulate sustained release palettes. Thank you.